So there's no doubt that in our mind that taking action, raising awareness on this really important issue is crucial for us all to do. And, you know, COVID, I think it's also saying, has had a really negative impact on the progress that has been made to end female genital mutilation. But we know the evidence is there that the longer girls stay in school, the less likely they are to, be, to, to undergo FGM. So actually keeping children in school, getting to start school first yes, of all, and, staying there. and then staying there and being able to address some of those dropout rates. And but on the behavior change and norms level, that we do a lot more on that front. I think another area where we could do more is support cross-border um, approaches because we do know that some communities, as the government of Uganda cracks down on the practice, they cross over to Kenya and continue the practice and vice versa. So for support governments as they do this cross-border work in terms of information sharing, but not only harmonizing their legal practices, but not only supporting the development efforts around those borders, supporting that would also help. Thank you. Oh, more smiling. More smiling.